something. I, I hear it these are the best uh, signs, uh, yeah. <laughs> and you are, ro um, tell me again what you do. Surgical robots. Surgical robots. Yeah. And this could save our lives <laughs> in the future. Does. It yep. is saving our lives and it's going to save more. 2,000 surgeries a day right now. 2,000? Yep. With surgical robots? 2,000 surgeries, 2, done, surgeries with robots. done every day with it. Yep. Oh my gosh. So all sorts of big robots, little robots? No, no, the big one. Let's go to the voice memo first. Tell me if you want to know your name or just why you're here. Sure, yeah. My name is Reza Gosmi. Um, I'm here because I'm a human and science is really the one thing that all of us benefit from. It doesn't matter if we believe in it. It's there. And everyone on the planet is better off because of science. From medical to technical innovations, the pursuit of science is one thing that should bind us all together as a human race. Right. And, um, and I work on uh, surgical robots. You do? All of us do. You do the yeah. robots? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, I did it. I have a book. I, I will give you the information, but I have a lot of robots in my book. Oh, really? Right. Awesome. <laughs> yes. But yeah, so we care, we care a lot about science and technology because we care about humans. Yes. Yes. That's, that's why we're here. So the rhetoric we've seen in the last less than 100 days, right. it's, it's alarming. It's alarming and it's based off of, I think, a lot of ignorance and hate, but I think a lot more ignorance than people give it credit for. Right. I think there's a lot of people that are very just misinformed right. over a long course of time. And right. that's, I mean, obviously there's plenty of people that hate is driving it, but I think the overall majority of the people that are supporting these things, it's because of a lack of knowledge and appreciation. I don't think they realize the things that they do every day that are actually enabled because of science. Right, right. You know? Uh, so it's kind of reminding uh, reminding everyone that we have what we have today, We're, we benefit, we have our health, uh, we can have longer lives because of science. Yes. And if we start to say these are alternative facts and let's defund it, what What's what kind of happen? world are we going to live in? Yeah, where, where are we? Where, yeah, yes. it could be scary. Yes, and notice they're not defunding stuff that benefits large fossil fuel you know, companies, stuff like that. Right, right. So, so yeah. yeah. Do you want to sure. contribute? So, I mean, one of the big things is, is that government working together with science is what has led us to the prosperity and fantastic world we live in today. Um, as part of making these signs, I did a bunch of research. We've seen an 80% reduction in fatalities per mile traveled on the road because of safer cars, seat belts, airbags, uh, drunk driving laws, all science-based decisions. We've seen a 80% reduction in child and infant mortalities due to the medical research and uh, you know antibiotics and vaccines and things like that. We see clearer skies, better water. All of this is when government works together with science based on the data to find the solutions that work. And that's all we want. You know, why would you do anything other than pay attention to the facts? Right, right. And, and we're turning our back to the facts now. Oh, exactly. It's like yeah. we're going down a, a rapids with a lot of rocks and we've just yeah. turned our backs and closed our eyes. Yeah. And we hope we don't run Make into Make your decision them. and ignore everything else and that's the wrong way to go. Science is all about questioning all of your decisions, testing, and you know, confirming and rejecting based on data. Right, right, and, 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 and steering according to the facts. Exactly. Not yes. alternative facts. Right, yes. <laughs> Did any, anything to add? Anything to add or? I think they cover the bases. I mean, okay. yeah, it's, yeah, I'm blown away at where we're at right now, given the arc that we've been going down for the last 20, 30 years. The fact that we could have a con man talk his way into this position and put so many valuable things at risk is something I'm still coming to terms with. Thank you. Unbelievable. Yeah. 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 And, and frightening. Terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Terrifying. Yes. <laughs> but motivating. Very motivating. Very motivating. So this is helpful that, that, that we have these... I've like, I've never done anything like this before. Personally, I guess it's, kind of, it's kind of cathartic for me, but yeah. it's also very... It, it instills a great level of hope when I look over there and see how deep the people go. Yes. That makes me feel really good. Yes. Yes. That there, there, there are lots of people here, and we're not going to go away. Like we don't just show up for this. Yep. We're going to continue to chip away at whatever, exactly. whatever forces put us here. Absolutely. We'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, there's a, I actually left my last job because I worked with a team that was led by a guy who was more interested yeah. in fantasies that okay. he had created in his head yeah, as opposed to the, the scientific results of what we were doing. Okay. And so it's kind of a really fresh sentiment to me. Right. Because I, I literally was like forced to flee a group that was not acknowledging fact. Okay. And actually as I was watching the, the you know, the lead, the lead up to the election, I had this kind of... Uh, I guess you could say uh, a sinking feeling. No, I was. I, well, I was hoping, like, I was living like this vicarious um, superposition of my previous boss onto Trump, right. and hoping that he would lose, just so that I could get this personal feeling that bullshitters can't win. Right. And of course, it didn't go that way. And so for me, 2016 is the year the assholes won. Right. And the boss, and then Trump. Exactly. Wow. And so now it's really time to sift. I've, I've, I've sifted through my network, and the tertiary friends that were kind of shitheads are now no longer in my daily dialogue. I've really made a conscious effort to focus on being wholeheartedly results driven in, 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 in new ways in my life. Okay. And I'm still figuring out how to do that, but um, you know I'm. Yeah, without getting too personal. Um, right, no, I, I'm totally with you. I lost my job two weeks before Christmas because of the swamp draining in advance of Trump. So, I've done... Really? Yeah, yeah. I know, I I agree with you, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Let's get rid of the one... Let's get rid of the systems and the people and the diluted thinking that doesn't work. Um, let's focus on what does work and let's bring what does work. Let's bring our voices together. Those... Us that are here, that are conscious, that are trying to make change. Yes. Let's, and I, let's, I, I, weave, let's weave us together. Absolutely. And I think before all this stuff went down with me last year, I was complacent. Yes. Because I, there's only so many things you can focus on at <laughs> a given time. Absolutely. And priorities change. And as a result of the events of last year, I've become much less complacent with regard to accountability. Right. Right. So now, yeah. I, I, I heard this at the Women's March too. Yeah. Complacency leads to fascism um, and leads to bad results. So let's yes. wake up. Let's uh, Things that we knew were important, now we know are really important. And it's never too late. It's never too late. Yes. We'll, we'll, we'll change this. All right.